Greetings Captain Gunship here. This is just a quick video to tell you how the new fire control system or artillery directors as they like to call it from Gaiden is working in the game. This is specifically for realistic naval battles. So just this still image is kind of what you are seeing when you are first targeting a ship. So let's break it down. The number under the ship is the actual distance to the ship just like normal. The other number to the bottom left is where you are currently aiming. And you can also see that green circle with a dot in it. That's kind of where your shell is supposed to land. On the right hand side is saying measuring range. And that's kind of a slow process, typically take about 30 seconds to measure. You do not have to wait for that to shoot, that's important to know. But as it measures it, it will give you an idea about how much lead in the horizontal plan that you need to take in order to, to shoot the target. As per normal, depending on how far away you are from the target, you also have to think about that the target will be closer to you as the shell is traveling. So in this case here, you will probably aim as per usual about 0 0.1, well, 100, 200 meters before the target to make sure that your shell actually hit it. Now there's two ways of doing that. You can either use the scroll wheel to adjust up and down, or you can move your mouse up and down. Now the mouse up and down is, is limited awfully in range because you might not be able to see it go too high or too low. Uh, so generally you do a combination. I tend to adjust with the scroll wheel first and then if I want a slightly finer measurement I just move the mouse up and down slightly before I shoot. So we'll see how that works in practice in a minute. Now in this image here we haven't done the measuring range yet, so let's move on. The range has now been updated, so it's at its most accurate until it gets updated again. So bearing in mind that that's your ship's speed and course compared to the other ship's speed and course that now give you this red marker. All you have to do is align your bottom marker to it and shoot, making sure your distance to the target is correct for the shell travel etc as I just talked about. Okay so let's see how this actually works in practice. As you see here I'm just waiting for the range measurement to be there. I align my shot you see the two green arrows on top of each other. I shoot and as you can see here the shells are traveling and I'll just zoom in so we can see and they land pretty perfect. Now a small adjustment is needed. You see the red marker has moved. I'll just move my cursor over a little bit. I'll make sure that my distance is correct. As you can see, I'm just waiting for my guns to reload. I've got about five seconds left. So I adjust my range to probably 100 meters beforehand, take and give a little bit. I shoot, and uh, yeah, uh, it's as simple as that. Now, when the red marker moved to the one side or the other, as it did there, it was probably because you maybe slowed down a little bit, or maybe I moved my mouse. But as long as it's accurate when you press the fire button, it's all good. Now we have, uh, see the secondaries on this new Russian battleship, so pretty epic to be honest. Uh, but that's a bit of a side point. I have another ship here in, in front of me that I'll zoom into just a little bit of time. So we've got a cruiser out here. And as you can see, it's already done part of the measuring for you. So I think, oh, in this case, I don't want to just chance a shot. Um, I'll probably just wait for the measurement to be there. There it is, at just about 100, 200 meters beforehand. Fire the trigger and uh, wait for the end result. So I should at least damage him a little bit. Maybe they were a, a little bit short, but I damaged them a little bit. So we will adjust again, as he's not moving terribly quickly towards me or anything. So maybe aim 500 meters in front, just wait for the guns here to reload. And uh, bang, here we go. Uh, so we'll see how that moves. Now, if the red marker starts moving to the right, that means that he's starting to slow down but remember it only happens when the range is updated 
And if he does that, like you see here, now he's probably starting to sink, so he would be slowing down. So it wouldn't be, yeah, see the red marker moved quite a lot. Actually, you can probably preempt that and say, actually, next one is going to shoot pretty much straight in the target because he's not going to move at all, as it was. A Hugay killed uh, him off there. Um, but that's really how simple the system is. Uh, just make sure you have set your mouse wheel to distance control. So let me just quickly show you how that is done in the menus. So in the menus, you go to controls, go to naval, go under what's called camera control and you'll see a setting says mouse wheel for navel in brackets make sure that's set to distance correction and the mouse wheel multiplier well it's a bit of a a thing for what what you think is good or bad mine is at 50 percent but uh, you might want it higher or lower depending on on your setup that's really all there is to say about the new uh, fire director or fire control system uh, it soon becomes second nature you could argue, yeah, why is it not set so it automatically does the, the distance to the target as well, because it surely could calculate that as well. well I reckon that's uh, the gaming element, that's for us to, to play with. It's probably is now a lot simpler and a lot quicker for, for people to work with, so uh, hopefully that means we get more people interested in naval, specifically uh, the realistic battles, so it'd be good to see many more people playing that as a result. That's all for today. Gunship over and out.